G'day, welcome to bikereview.com.au. I'm Jeff Ware and today I'm out and about testing the Honda CRF 1000L Africa Twin. So first of all, I want to say this is a great fun bike to ride and good value. You can read all the technical highlights on the CRF 1000L African Twin in the full report. Um, but I'll just let you know briefly what I thought of the bike. I lived with it for two weeks and as someone who's not a hardcore experienced adventure rider, it really was a good bike for me. I didn't find it intimidating in any way. I could ride it hard. I could grab it by the scruff of the neck and get the best out of it. I wasn't getting taken along for a ride. And, you know, honestly, if I had the money and I needed one of these bikes, I'd definitely park one in the shed. I'd spend a few thousand dollars, maybe upgrading the suspension and um, a few bits and pieces, and that's about it. On the road, it's like a big, comfy sports tourer. Great seat, great riding position, really good protection from the fairing, even though it's minimal. There's not much hanging out that can get damaged if you drop the bike. Mine had knobby tyres fitted to it, which weren't the best on the road, but the compromise was a really good off-road, so it's up to you what kind of riding you're going to be doing, but there's plenty of options there for tyres. Really good pillion comfort, lots of space for luggage, a little touch would be nice, like maybe heated grips, and I would have liked cruise control, but apart from that, I found it really good on the road. I rode it in the city, I rode it in the bush, I rode it you know, all over the place on the freeway. Off-road, I had an absolute ball on the Africa Twin. Like I said, the, the soft power of the engine and the tractability of it uh, really suited me well off-road because I'm not a super experienced adventure rider. Big jumps like this, uh, that was probably about 100, 120 kilometers an hour. Okay, the soft suspension is gonna you know, find its limits there. I was botting it out pretty hard. So if you're gonna get pretty serious, you might wanna put springs in it and do a bit of revalving. But read the full report um, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, come back and visit bikereview.com.au for more adventure bikes.